what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the value of the square root of 144 all over 12 minus the square root of 143 well our first step will be for us to rationalize the denominator so we have 144 all over the denominator is 12 minus the square root of 143 and our rationalizing means we multiply by 12 instead of minus we use plus the square root of 143 all over the same thing 12 plus the square root of 143 very good so all these are embedded inside of a square root now let's multiply so we have the square root of 144 times 12 plus the square root of 143 can be written as 144 times 12 plus the square root of 1 43 very good all over when this multiply this it can be written as 12 minus the square root of 143 times 12 plus the square root of 143 very good now take note of the denominator the denominator is of the form a minus b times a plus b an expression like this is written as a squared minus b squared so that means we're going to be writing the denominator in this form so we have the square root of the numerator 144 times 12 plus the square root of 143 all over this becomes 12 squared minus the square root of 143 squared very good and simplifying further this will result to 144 times 12 plus the square root of 143 all over now 12 squared is 144 minus now notice that this square can cancel out square roots leaving behind 143 very good and now simplifying further we have the square root of 144 times 12 plus the square root of 143 all over the denominator 144 minus 143 is 1 so 144 times 12 plus the square root of 143 divided by 1 gives the same thing 144 times 12 plus the square root of 143 very good now there is a property of sword which says when I have, for example, the square root of A times B, this can be written as the square root of A times the square root of B. We're going to be applying this property to what we have here. So that means this expression can be written as the square root of 144 times the square root of 12 plus the square root of 143 very good and we all know that the square root of 144 is 12 times the square root of 12 plus the square root of 143 very good very good now my aim would be for me to make what i have inside a perfect square in order to get rid of this square root and how do i do that this will be 12 times the square root of 
we will know that 2 divided by 2 is 1. Very good. So I'm going to be using 2 divided by 2 to multiply this expression, which is 12 plus the square root of 143. Very good. And now this gives 12 times the square root of. Now multiplying the numerator, 12, 2 times 12 is 24 plus 2 times the square root of 143 is 2 root 143. Very good. All over the denominator, which is 2. So let me extend this a little. Very good. Very good. Now, our next step will be for me to split 143 into two factors. So this will be 12 times the square root of, this is 24, plus 2 times the square root of 143 is same as 13 times 11. Very good. So all over 2. And now simplifying further, we have 12 times the square root of. Now, I want to write 24 in terms of 13 and 11. So 24 in addition is equal to 13 plus 11. Very good. Plus 2 times the square root of 13 times 11. Very good. All over 2. And this becomes 12 times the square root of 13 is same as the square root of 13 all squared plus 11 is same as the square root of 11 all squared. And then plus 2 times the square root of 13 times 11. Very good all over the denominator, which is 2. But I'm still going to be writing this 2 in terms of a square root. So let me write it in terms of a square root and then square it. Good. Good. Now notice the numerator. In this square root, I'm going to be applying the property of square root by separating what we have inside. So this will be 12 times the square root of the square root of 13 squared plus the square root of 11 squared plus 2 and then separating times the square root of 13 times the square root of 11 all over the denominator which is the square root of 2 all squared very good now notice the numerator let me just write it out so that you see what I'm talking about. This is the square root of 13, all squared, plus the square root of 11, all squared, plus 2 times the square root of 13, times the square root of 11. This expression resembles a squared plus b squared plus 2 a b and an expression like this is a perfect square which is written as a plus b or squared very good and now if we have to compare you see that a is the same as the square root of 13 and b is the same as the square root of 11. So now let's write this numerator in this form. So we have 12 times the square root of, now this becomes the square root of 13 plus the square root of 11 all squared. Very good. Written in perfect squared. All over the denominator, the square root of 2 all squared. Very good. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices, which says when I have a to the m divided by b to the m, as long as the numerator 
and the denominator has the same exponent, this can be written as a over b all raised to the common exponent m. So we're going to be applying this to what we have inside of the square root. So this becomes 12 times the square root of, we have on the numerator, the square root of 13 plus the square root of 11 divided by the denominator, we have the square root of 2, and now all raised to the common exponent, which is 2. Now we have a perfect square inside of the square root, so we can get rid of it. So now notice that this square root can cancel out the square, so that we have 12 times the square root of 13 plus the square root of 11 all over the square root of 2. Very good. Very good. Now there's something I want to do. I'm going to be pushing out the square root of 2 outside. It is still the same. So this is 12 divided by the square root of 2 times the square root of 13 plus the square root of 11. Very good. Now, since I have a sword or square root on the denominator, it means I should rationalize the denominator. So rationalizing the denominator, I have 12 divided or all over the square root of two. Rationalizing means I multiply the numerator by the square root of two and also multiply the denominator by the square root of 2. Very good. And now times this expression, which is the square root of 13 plus the square root of 11. Very good. Now notice that 12 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 13 plus the square root of 11 gives 12 root 2 times the square root of 13 plus the square root of 11. Very good. All over the denominator, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 gives 2. Very good. And now notice that 12 divided by 2 gives 6. So I have 6 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 13 plus the square root of 11. Very good. And now opening up the bracket, 6 root 2 times the square root of 13 will be 6 root 2 times the square root of 13 plus 6 root 2 times the square root of 11 gives 6 root 2 times the square root of 11. Very good. And now simplifying further, I'm going to be applying the property of SOD which says when I have the square root of A times the square root of B, this can be written together as a square root of A times B. So let's write this in this form. So we have 6 times the square root of 2 times 13. So 2 times 13 according to this. Plus, we do this the same way, 6 times the square root of 2 times 11. So 2 times 11. And this simplifies into 6 times the square root of 2 times 13 is actually 26. Plus 6 times the square root of 2 times 11 is 22. And if we have to factor out 6, because 6 is common, we have 6 out, open bracket, and now 6 root 26 divided by 6, I have root 26 plus 6 root 22 divided by 6 is root 22. And this is our final solution. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, 
subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care